episode three um, caught me off guard was just uh, devouring a vegetarian sausage and having a non-alcoholic beer I'd like to welcome this week a bona fide a youtuber and serial killer enthusiast the lovely Ellen O'Neill hi that's me serial killer girl thanks tim um, i'm here with my beer that's not a beer as well this is iced coffee in a pint glass because lockdown's treating me really well at the moment i'm excited to answer some questions fantastic so you've got your pint of coffee that's going to make your brain feel bejazzled later on today congrats and good luck so nothing for me screams icebreaker more then a question like, what's your favourite celebrity hat? Now that, <laughs> that is a good icebreaker and something I've never really given much thought to. However, the immediate answer that is popping into my brain is this one episode of The Voice that I watched a fair few years ago. And I've got the picture up on my phone because this is a very niche answer. But this is Usher wearing this really nice fluffy hat with a tail on it. I don't know what these are called, but I really respect this. So that's my favourite celebrity hat. I mean, yeah, that's a that's a strong look. That is a that's a hat that means business. That's the hat that says, "I'm going to go through your rubbish." Uh, no, just because purely because it's a raccoon. It's a raccoon, right? It's a raccoon. Which go through uh, rubbish? Not to say Usher goes through rubbish. He might. Don't know. Uh, so, question number two. You are into them, they're serial killers. So, dinner party at yours. Three serial killers invited. Who are they and why? A dinner party at my house with me and three serial killers. This definitely sounds like you're trying to set me up, but I will answer it. So, my first attendee is a bit of a... I don't know, I feel like a lot of people would choose this, but the Zodiac Killer, because he was never identified, no one knows who the Zodiac Killer is, so I feel like if I could get him around at my house, he's obviously going to take his mask off to eat his dinner, so I've solved it. I've, I've solved one of the biggest serial killer crimes ever. Absolutely flipping lootly. My next attendee at my very wholesome dinner party would be Peter Tobin, who is a Scottish serial killer. He killed about three or four women and he's in prison and everything. However, there is another unidentified serial killer, kind of like the Zodiac Killer, from Scotland named Bible John. And a lot of people believe that Bible John is Peter Tobin. However, Bible John's murders just have never been pinned on Peter. So Bible John was active right before Peter Tobin was. So it's like it naturally led into Peter Tobin's murders. They just kind of need pinning on him. Um, so I feel like I could do that <laughs> at this dinner party. And my third and final serial killer guest would be H.H. H. Holmes, who is known as America's first serial killer. He is probably the thing that got me into serial killers because I've done like a huge video on him. Um, and he built a castle, like a huge castle with like 38 rooms in it. Bloody hell each room with a different method of murder in it so he had like torture chambers and like gas chambers and things that turn into a big oven as soon as you push the person in it like it had chutes and a big basement with acid baths and he is mental and i sound mental <laughs> for knowing all of this i promise it's my job oh god no don't be silly of course you don't sound mental you don't sound mental at all Sunny, change the locks on all the doors, change the locks. So, last question, let's uh, lighten up the mood a bit, shall we? Favourite hangover snack? I feel like when I'm hungover, I forget how to cook and I regress back to being like 13 years old and I, I no longer know how to use kitchen appliances. So all we're having is spaghetti hoops on toast. And it, it does the job, it, all, it does the job. Amelia, I know exactly what you mean. I have a penchant for... Uh... Hob base goods as well. 
especially hoops. They are my numero dos. Anyway, Tim, thank you so much for having me on Chatoo. I've had a very, very fun time. And before I run back to the world of true crime YouTube, I have a question for you. If you could solve any unsolved mystery, big or small, doesn't have to be a crime, any unsolved mystery in the world, what would it be and why? Bye. <laughs> hey, it's my pleasure. Thank you for being such a lovely person and a good sport. Cheers. Upgraded from a non-alcoholic beer to uh, uh, vodka and tonic and a fish stick. Hmm. So, um, what mystery would I want to solve, big or small? I think it might be the mystery of what happens to us after we go. Not to get too doom and gloom. Do we go up to heaven? Do we go to the spirit world or do we just go to that big, empty, dark void? <laughs> That's a nice thought for a Friday night. So enjoy that. And thanks again. Take it easy until next week. Love you. Bye.